on Creighton Durham Hall. North has committed just one foul this half. That's a good point. North can really afford to gamble in backcourt, for lack of a better word. Go for the steal. You catch a guy on the arm. No big deal. Creates some havoc there. Ooh. Burke did not get both feet into the front court, or that would have been a violation. This would tie it. Roscoe Short rebounded by El Amin. Rainey. Five-point polar lead. He did a good job keeping that ball away from Roscoe. Very quick. Haas moves it up the floor. Finds Townley. Back to a three-point ball game. to a 45-43 win for North. Right now it's 44-41. El Amin driving. Bumped on the way in. He'll go to the line. Well, North has never had to play from behind, so I think obviously that would be the most positive scenario for Crete and Durham Hall, just as, not only because they would have the lead, but just North has never had to react to being behind, but they have had games where they have had narrow leads, not a lot of them, but a few that have gone down under 10 points. And they have found it very rewarding to keep the ball in college hands because people just don't get it away from him. And he gets to the foul line and is able to put the game away. A couple of teams have played North close. Minneapolis Roosevelt lost by just two. Minnehaha Academy by six. It comes out. Rebounded by Haas. Elamine has missed three straight free throws. That one, the front end of a one and one. 140 left in the fourth quarter. You just joined us. This is the fourth quarter. It's been a low scoring game. David Devine had a wonderful third quarter. Has not taken a shot from my recollection here in the fourth. Townley along the baseline. He's got eight. Tim Rosga hit a three late in the first half. That's his only bucket of the game. Oz has 16. Devine has 12. Townley has 12. And that's been it for Creighton Durham Hall. North leads by a point with 113 left. Let's go out to the kitchen. Let's go out to the kitchen. Let's go out to the kitchen and have ourselves a snack. Ice cold milk. Help yourself. Cold drinks are like basketball players. They can be tall, they can be smooth, but it takes a great one to dunk. Ice cold milk. Help yourself. Brought to you by your local dairy farmers. The National Jeep Sale is back. Your opportunity to get a great deal on one of America's legendary adventure vehicles. Buy or lease Jeep Grand Cherokee Laredo with up to $1,200 in values. Get a great price on Jeep Cherokee with air at no extra charge. Even the fun-loving Jeep Wrangler has a great deal. So see your Jeep and Eagle dealer now, because something this exciting will be over before you know it. See your local Jeep and Eagle dealer today. North in its 13th boys basketball tournament trying to advance to the semifinal round tomorrow night. They lead by a point and have the basketball. with the left hand misses. Rebounded by Wall. Follow-up's good. Albert Wall with his first bucket of the game. Stolen by Wall. Lockhart. And a foul called on Devine. Well, he called the foul before the contact between Rosga and Lockhart there. Third foul on Devine. A big moment for Albert Wall getting the 
basket and their eventual steal. Now there's the foul on the hook by Devine before Rosga, before the official had to rule on a block or a charge, he would make the call on the grab. Lockhart to the line for the first time. A two-possession lead for the Polars. Faked into the air. And Rosga can pull the Raiders within two from the line. Well, you did the smart thing. Here's the whistle, and I'm going through with that shooting motion, and he'll get three shots, as you say, Dick. One thing at a time. Put a different complexion on things if he didn't drop them all. First trip to the line. Just three points for Tim Rosga tonight. Oh boy. He knew that it was not going to be clean. He was he kind of sagged after he shot it but got the good bounce. And now North calls a timeout with 30.5 seconds to go. Those were the fourth and fifth free throws of the game for the Raiders. So a big factor in this game, regardless of how it turns out. North's reluctance to foul and send the Raiders to the line. Yeah, they're in a great spot where they only have two team fouls. Unfortunately, that one was in the act of shooting the three if you're a North fan. The only time that the Raiders have gone to the line in this game, excuse me, is when the Raiders were fouled in the act of three-point shooting. Townley went to the line for three free throws in the first half. Let's listen. Who do you listen to? The assistant coaches mm -hmm. tell you don't foul. The head coach says, if you have to foul, go ahead. Other athletes still have to react. Rosga has one more foul shot. We will have to foul in another 10 seconds or so to take off. And they haven't made a steal. Didn't get the roll there. On the floor, it goes to the Polars. Rodgers asking Steve Winfield if he's sure. Alamine. Working on Burke, triple team. Got it to Rainey. Lockhart foul. Devine committing his fourth foul. The Raiders obviously felt they didn't want to put the team give them some three opportunities that they didn't have to, and they worked about half the clock going for steals. Probably not a bad philosophy. Didn't get the steal, so now got to think about fouling. Lockhart with a big one and one can put it beyond a one possession game if he makes the first one. Even though this game has been played at Len Horizon's pace, you have to give Robin Ingram and the Polars a great deal of credit. They've not gotten flustered. And they played a very disciplined game down the stretch. Four-point ball game. Rosga had it stolen away. Jabbar Washington, a big smile on his face. Jabbar Washington and the Polars survive. They go to the semifinal round. The last three-pointer counts 
for Burke. But North is halfway to their goal of an unbeaten season. Halfway through the tournament, moving into the semifinals. 27 and 0 for the Minneapolis North Polars. Minneapolis North advances to tomorrow's semifinal round, the 9 o'clock game. They'll play either New London Spicer or Duluth East. We'll wrap up our first quarterfinal game tonight in just a moment. Ready. 51-45 North ended up uh, with the final win of 51 48 as Jim mentioned the three pointer by Ben Burke did count at the horn all it did was cut the margin in half and North now 27 and 0 Creighton Durham Hall falls to 24 and 4 they'll move to the consolation bracket let's go to Jeff Grayson this is why the Polars are in the semis. Colin L. Amin, Jabbar Washington. Congratulations, Colin. We'll start with you. Wow, this was a nail biter, and you guys pull it out. Oh, yeah. You know, we came out flat today. Um, you know, we weren't focused like we were supposed to be, and that's why the game was as close as it was. But, you know, tomorrow night we'll be focused. I'm, pr I'm pretty sure, I'm very sure we will be, and the game won't be this close tomorrow. Well, the other super sophomore, Jabbar, you know, you guys are known for being an explosive team offensively, but you proved tonight in a low-scoring game you can win it. Oh, uh, yeah, we're very explosive. And I think in any close game, we'll win it. We'll pull it off. Hey, Albert Wall won the game for us, the big put it back in a big steal. What goes through your mind when it is a lower score, lower tempo? Do you want to drive it up? I know you got the slam at the end, but they did a pretty good job of keeping it down. Oh, they did a great job, yeah. But our, our offense wasn't clicking. I don't think it was their defense that really held us down that much. It was just flash. Kyle, what were you saying, Kyle? It was a lack of patience on our part. That's all. Now, on to the, the final four of the state tournament. Your thoughts? Oh, yeah, uh, we've been waiting for this for, you know, three years now. We're finally here, and uh, we'll make the most of this. I'm, I, I guarantee we will win. We're winning. Jabari, uh, any, any reaction to that? Hey, hey, he said everything for me, you know. Hey, we're just going and do the job. Yeah. Hopefully, we'll be winners. Yeah, All right. They're truly super sophomores, not a cliche. They're living up to it. Jabari Washington, Kyle and El Amin, yeah. congrats, guys. Yeah. Number one, number one. Number one. Number one. Number one. We ain't been number one since December 23rd for nothing. Yeah. You don't get their chance tomorrow night to keep it going. Back over to Dick Bramer. They have been number one most of the year, as Khalid said, since December 23rd. They were challenged here, as we expected, by Creighton Durham Hall, but they pulled out a nail biter 51 to 48. We'll be back with more from the Civic Center in a moment. It's time to go to the extreme. Top Stadium Club. Go one on one with every threat in the NBA. Then get their numbers nailed. The special insert cards. Rising stars, talent on fire. Clear cuts, a see through view of the best in the game. Dynasty meets destiny. It all comes together. Top Stadium Club. The John Deere STX-38 has been rated the best tractor in its class. Now we've decided to give our reputation more muscle. With a bigger 14-horse engine and a wider 46-inch mowing deck. Introducing the John Deere STX-46. Oh, did we mention it also comes with hydro transmission? John Deere lawn tractors, starting as low as 1999. With thousands of John Deere dealers across the country, there is sure to be one near you. There were a lot of tractors out there, but there's only one. White Outdoor. You see, why don't we build quality tractors and mowers? Your white dealer will help you find the perfect one for your needs. Can somebody help me? White dealers even assemble Wendell Weber. Other mowers come with these simple instructions. To find your white dealer, call one 800 White Outdoor. Incredible. <laughs> 
My dad once said, 90% of sports is from the neck up. Experience tells me he was right. They say only the strong survive. Experience tells me it's true. Now I know I'm just a rookie, but I see what it takes to succeed. Hard work, strength, experience. Your GMC truck dealers are a proud sponsor of this telecast. Minneapolis North with a three-point win over Creighton Darham Hall. So many lead changes, I think we ended up with 16 in the game. But North took control of things a little bit in the fourth quarter, had as much as a five-point lead midway through the quarter, had a six-point lead just before the three-point basket at the end. But one of the biggest plays of the game came late in the fourth quarter, our U.S. West Cellular play of the game, the only basket by Elbert Wall. Now you see the drive in there by Rainey. He didn't get it to fall, but Elbert Wall and Javar Washington gave him credit in his interview there with Jeff for getting on the board and putting it back when they needed it gave him a little cushion that they were able to maintain down the stretch. And then shortly after we stopped the tape there, he came up into the uh, front court and made a steal, so a good sequence for Elbert Wall. Our American Dairy Association player of the game, though, is Jabbar Washington with 10 points in each half. He scored 25 last night and really provided almost all of the offense for the Polars in the first half. That'll be a little desperation time here at the end when he gets this dunk. Rosga was trying to force things and get off a shot quickly because his team was down by uh, more than a bucket but uh, Jabbar Washington did play fabulously well and he uh, he made his presence known in the first half kept his team in there when he as he said they were fairly flat offensively in the first half best news for Jabbar of course he'll receive a certificate and a donation sent to his school on behalf of your local dairy farmers who remind you milk help yourself three games in the books here in the quarterfinal round the semis coming tomorrow we have one game left it is New London Spicer against Duluth East, which will get started here in, oh, what, 20 minutes or so. So uh, we'll come back to the St. Paul Civic Center in just a little while. You want to throw it uh, back to the station? Yeah, it'll be fun. New London Spicer trying to make it an all-class A final. They're carrying the hope for the bottom bracket for the smaller schools, but Duluth East is awfully tough. They want a rematch with Minneapolis North, the team that got them early in the season and knocked them out of the preseason number one ranking. So we're going to take a break for Minnesota 9 News and come back with our nightcap game. Should be a good one. Ready for spring with quality products from Menard. Vermont American makes great tools for your home fix-up. A seven-piece screwdriver set is $5.88, and a contractor saw is $14.77. ShopVac prepares you for spring cleaning with a five-gallon wet-dry vac for only $28.82. Pick up a combination blower vacuum for $44.82. Menard springs into action with low prices. Save big money at Menard's. Mark Santamy, Edna, you have... Some salons make you pay extra for the basics. But if I ever have another piece of orange food... At Great Clips, our one low price includes a blow dry, and that's cut and dry. Hold on a second, I got something wrong with my pants. For the price of just a perm at some salons, Great Clips offers a complete Zotos perm, including the shampoo, cut, and style, leaving those other perms, well, a little flat. Great Clips, guaranteed satisfaction, guaranteed style. This is a Minnesota 9 News Update. Good evening, I'm Gary Revstock. He's being paid by the FBI. He was using illegal drugs. And he's facing some big problems with the law himself. That's some of the information that came out in court in St. Paul about the government's key witness against Kabila Shabazz. Here's Jeff Ballion with the details. A plain blue van pulls up to the back door of the federal courthouse in St.